Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. So I'm tuning around uh, the shortwave bands with this DGND 1103. And uh, of course, playing around with my Texan AN48X on shortwave. And of course, uh, one of the things that is apparent is that unfortunately on shortwave, it isn't really the best performer you can have. I've been uh, really playing around a lot with uh, the different options and, and different frequency ranges. Let's see here. Here there's a mishmash of overloading of FM signals. So that's probably the biggest problem of this antenna. And you know, you guys know that here, uh, FM breakthrough is a big problem. And so if I quickly show you guys, the uh, antenna is right there. And even if I turn it, even if I uh, change the orientation to try to null out the most possible, I'm definitely not getting great shortwave reception out of it. Um, so that's probably the biggest problem of this uh, antenna and um, on shortwave it's very difficult to tune in so even if I you know find signals that I listen to um, it, it's almost impossible to pin down a station and, and have it um, you know uh, really clear in reception and that's where that's where the antenna falls short honestly um, so let's try 11780 here, which is uh, Brazil. And let's see if I can clear it out by tuning the uh, This seems to be kind of the sweet spot, but uh, pretty much impossible. And if I remove this and we try with just a telescopic, we'll see what happens here. So, uh, sorry guys, just gonna. Open the telescopic here, see if just telescopic antenna by itself is uh, is better. So I'll remove this. You know, it's kind of equal. Actually, it's better with the telescopic than with the loop. I'm kind of having a clearer signal, even though it's noisy. So let's check out uh, something else. Let's see what signal. I can actually get that strong. So bands. So here's a uh, here's a signal. So this is W E W N, the uh, Catholic station. So we've got this signal, and we're gonna try to see if we can have it better with the AN forty eight X. So I'm gonna collapse the antenna. I'm going to plug in the MLE30 into the antenna socket on the side of the radio and uh, we're going to try to, there we go, Uh, I, I, it's worse it's worse actually so uh, you know as the medium wave band is amazing like I showed you on one video short wave is either crappy I've had a few signals that were improved 
I've had more signals that were degraded uh, and often not much of an improvement over the uh, the antenna, the telescopic of the radio in the loop. So for shortwave, this is not a good antenna, honestly. Um, I can recommend the AN48X if you're a shortwave listener. And once again, this very long wire here is way too long and not shielded enough. It actually degrades and induces a lot more noise. Uh, I understand why it's long because it's nice to have, you know, uh, <coughs> a few feet that you can actually use when you want to sit down and leave the antenna in a corner. But at the same time, it's not shielded well enough, so it's actually bringing in a lot of noise also. So verdict for shortwave, uh, kind of crappy, honestly, for the uh, Texan AN48X. And you're much better off with a, uh, you know, spend a few bucks more and get an ML830. That will be much better in the reception of signals. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.